Hello and welcome, ready? <laughs> Not your day for the intros, man. Hello and welcome, everyone, to another exciting episode of Carlin Bonus Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. That's the day of the day. We'll see. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the wheel of energy. I'm feeling dark, Ben. Ooh. Could it be? It'd be pretty unlikely. No, it's not gonna. What do we land on? Electricity! Ecletricity! Ecletricity! There it is, which means we can change the boards again. Sometimes oh. we go weeks and it's not even like up for. I know, you know it's just debate. like, you know, then, and then, you know, and then it, but at least, at least it's a small move this time. Get old, get old Jolteon up there, who, as a reminder, is, does not evolve from Joltik. Nope. I feel like I'm the only person who thinks that that, that makes sense, but like at the same rate, like Joltik looks exactly like Jolteon. It's like I the think, same character like design. I think they would agree with you if it weren't the fact that Jolteon's like one of the most beloved Pokemon of all time. Yeah, yeah. When, and, and, and Joltik's like a, you know, a brand, not, not new, but was like a, a new Tick Pokemon in Gen 6. A new Tick Pokemon? Yeah. Is there another Tick Pokemon? Oh, no, not that I know. Of. Okay, okay, yeah. It's like, I mean, I'm, I'm a little surprised that there was even one Maybe tick even Pokemon, one, let yeah. alone two tick Pokemon. I know, right? You want to let them know about our randomly chosen con chase cards? I sure do, because we almost forgot last week. This week, it is going to be Mantike, Plusle, and Vanillux. 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 So we have to keep an eye out because there is Vanillish and Vanillite. But we're looking for Vanillux today. Let's see if Mistevios, our first contestant of the day, can pull. A vanilla. Mysterious. Or a roaring moon. We met Mysterious at GoFast earlier this year. We sure did. Yeah. Won, won the trivia contest, or one of them. Yes. Let's see here. So we got the Panseer. Oh, wait. Let's see here. Yeah. The, okay. Yeah. The, the Wiglet. Yeah. The Glagar. The Blipbug. The Cyclozar. The Simiseer. The Crobat. The Golbat. Wow. Will not score. The Simisage will not score in the, the Chim Pow. Wow. Man. Just a single point for Mistivio. So uh, they might have won trivia, but they're not winning this game. At least not yet. No. They only had, they had two points last go around. So they're at three points. So there's a possible last place situation if <laughs> nobody <laughs> manages a back to back yeah. two points. Which nobody uh, has done so far. No one has so, so far. So at the very least, this is the reverse. This that's your point. holdout. But no one wants that. People want a perfect three-point last place. You I know. know. It's like it's like bowling a perfect three hundred. Exactly. Know? Yeah. Exactly. All right. Next up, we've got John Borg. John Borg. John Borg and Billy. Is there a Billy in there? No, well, it's like John Boy and Billy. That's like a radio show. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. The I'm John sure Borg and Billy show. I know. I'm trying to think of like what a good robot Billy name would be. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. No, I Bill, just, Billbot? Yeah. John Borg and Billbot. That's pretty oh, good. Gotcha, gotcha. Here we go. Grass energy. Not going to help you this week, but the Blitzel will. The Boon Sweet does not score. Phoebus, Apon, Defiance Mint, Durant, Durant. Toxel will score. The Mill Tank will not. And the Espathra will. So one, two, three for old three. John Borg and Billbot. There morning. Exactly. That's going to bring them a uh, three-point pack back to back. There we go. Well Six done, John Borg. On the season for the John Borgiest. Love Next up, this. we've got uh, Sailor Earth. Sailor Earth. Yeah. Or just Earth. We added Sailor. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it seems possible. It does. Well, it seems like us. I'm going to Sailor Earth nonetheless. Right. This is uh, Sailor Earth here Ooh. is 
aiming for last place. They've got one point right now. So I'm doubting it. I'm doubting you're it. You're doubting it? Yeah, me yeah. too, because nope. I can see the Ella kid. And that's pretty much does the it. The Ella kid, there we go. The Tinker Tough, the Trubbish, the Professor Turo scenario, the Mien Shao, the Rika, the, the Jolting. Jolting. Ben's there favorite Pokemon. That's it. Oh, the Vanilla. The Vanilla. Oh, yeah, score. Score. Oh, oh, the Doxtricity. So the base Doxtricity is only a point. This is the full art, but I'm betting it's like. It's only like two points. Let's see here. $2.44 wow. for the Doctricity, so that's three. Three, four, five, six points. Six points and not too bad for, for, for Earth. For Sailor Earth. Yeah, there we go. We'll take it. Bam. All right, we're going to throw that over there. That's coming your way. Awesome looking card, if nothing else. Absolutely. No, I mean, like, that, that feels like a fun pull to me. Yeah. A yeah. Any, any day of the week. Any, any day you day. get a full art anything, that's good. Next up, we've got Aiden, who loves chess and cricket and has two points. Does chess love and cricket two? and two points. Yeah. Chess and cricket and two points. Oh, it's me? Yeah, it's you. It's Let's you. go. You got this. All right, Aiden. Aiden. Can we pull something big? Will the Roaring Moon be in this box? Could it be? Bam, Fireball Energy here. Flamigo, Porygon, Seedra, Magby, Tinkaton, Durant, Earth Earth Vessel, Vessel will yeah. score. The Defiance Vessel will not. The Gimme Go will not. And the, the Low, low Kicks so will. Just three points. Three point pack as a reminder. The Earthen Vessel is the uh, token two point card. This season, there always seems to be one. There's Just always kinda, one. I, I personally find it to be a little bit amazing. It's sort of like, what, what are the odds of that? I know. All right, next up we have uh, Master Lauren, Master Archivist. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay, so we've also met this Lauren before. Let's see here. If we scroll on down, the Battle of the Laurens is kind of interesting at the moment because I think six points, Lauren, uh, just standard Lauren, right. is currently in first of the Battle of the Laurens, followed by Lauren B with three points. Then uh, this Lauren, oh, it's also tied with three points. So okay, so it rages on. It rages Who on. Who will be the Supreme Lauren? We're about to find out. We yeah. are about to find out. And there we go. Oh, okay. okay, we got it, we got it. We got the Fue Coco, the Snow Runt, the Honed Edge, that would've been good last week. The Horsey, Horsey the no Roar good. Arc, the Mini Yor, the Semipore, the Tink a Tough will not score, Luxurious Cape will not score, the, the Iron Jugulus, just wow. a single point, wow. So not what you wanted not to so see for solid. Lauren in the competition of Lauren, so just four points Well, if overall. we could get a water type advantage at any point I know, this yeah. season, it would really be paying off start big. To, start to rack up. I know. All right, next up, we've got Berkeley Comstock coming in with 11 points. So well positioned for a big Steve or a quality eighth place, depending on how these next couple of packs go. I'm looking at sort of the, the results here. Berkeley does fairly solid middle of the pack here. We've got 28 points followed by two eight point seasons. Okay, so not bad, not bad. Already already not surpassed bad. those eight point seasons yeah, with the 11 this season. Having a great so. showing here. Metal Energy, the Galvantula will we'll score. score. Yep, there we go. Antic Panthers, the Minin will score. Wug Trio, Tech Radar, Steeny, Crustle, Garnacle. Ooh. That's a pretty cool one. And the Latios. So let's look up that Garnacle. Beautiful oh, artwork yeah. nonetheless for the salt Pokemon. Let's see number 202 on the set. It's not our first one this season. $3.11. Okay, so four, 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 five, six, seven points. Six. Not bad at all. That does. That's going to bring them to 18 for Berkeley Comstock. And 18 is a, honestly really good for Big Steve. Super good position. Because you want like in. what, a two point pack? Two point pack two would point be pack. perfect. And yeah. somebody currently does sit uh, in that position with just 20 points overall. Jeremy, um, although if Jeremy does have one more pack this season, yeah. then it'll probably push Jeremy out of that position. So, so that that's pretty good for Berkeley. They want a two-point pack. We've seen a lot of two-point packs this season. So yes, yes, indeed. There we go. All right, next up we've got Sierra Cawthorn. All right, Sierra. Let's see what we got. Two points. See, here we go. This is a two-point pack from last pack last month. When I was playing rec league soccer as a, as a young kid, yeah. there was a Sierra on my team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this could be that Sierra. You think so? Could kick the ball a mile. I, I remember her because I think she was in like my class, but on your team. Maybe so. Maybe yeah. so. Yes, just exceptionally very good. athletic. Yeah, yeah. young there lady. Like like to think of that this is you from my rec soccer team. Okay, so we got Crustle, the Onyx, the Flittle, the Nicket, the Screamtail, Professor Status Vitality, the Minior, the Tan the Mouse will not score. The Jirachi will not score. Oh, and the top of Coco. Coco. There we go. Number six. Kind of has some bulky Xness to him. Yeah, let's but see, let's 63 see. cents, oh. so just a single point. Tapu Koko is like one of those like more mascot -y Pokemon. It's got a little more fan fair around it, so I was thinking maybe that could boost it up to at least two points, but alas, Sierra Cawthorn, there you go. One point, no, actually two points, because it's an electric Pokemon. Oh, I'm wow, sorry. good save, good save indeed. Wow. I literally wow. almost wow. did the same on my notes here. All right, two-point pack back-to-back. Two-point pack back-to-back. That there is what Berkeley Comstock is looking for 
Next pack. Next pack, indeed. Here we go. Next up, we've got the Bourbonator. The Bourbonator. There we go. Is this? I think this one's me. Yeah. I think it's you, indeed. Yeah. Let's see now. Again, another two-point pack. Last on their first pack of the month. So as you can see, two-point, very achievable. Ah, not open it. Opening this pack, very not achievable. I'm not really sure if this is a note that we wrote down or if it's from Cat, but we have our pronouns listed as for always on our card. Just make sure we get you right. And this says he, him, Mister. So I like the fact that like, we could call him Mr. Bourbonator. Oh, Mr. Bourbonator. Mr. Bourbonator. Well, well, well. Rock is pummeling energy. Here we go. Oh, the Oricorio will score. The Swablu, Pants here. Medical energy. Steeny, Goliath score. The Loudra, the Blitzel oh. will score. And the Goliathopod. So a three point pack for Mr. Bourbonator. Mr. Bourbonator, if you, you please. Go. There we go. Well, congratulations, Mr. Bourbonator. There you go. Take that Goliathopod at home. Dude, a Glossopod is a Pokemon I think the design of is very cool. Yeah? Okay, yeah. okay, we'll have to discuss that at length. That's a good one. Alright, next up, Ben, it's your probably sister-in-law, Sammy. Probably sister-in-law. I like to think that I know all of you from other aspects of my life. That's really yeah. what it boils down to. This is really to. just a bunch of our friends playing it under, under, um, under poorly aliases. veiled aliases. Yes, yeah. indeed. We got the Joltik, which will score right away. The Natu, the Remoraid, the Punkaboo, the, the Zetra. Yeah, that'll score the Crocolo, the Ambipom, the Technical Machine Turbo Energize. Way too many words. I'm sorry. Way too just, many. Just simply too many. Well, not score the Apom. Oh. No, the Apom. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And as the Steelix to count it out. So a three, three point. point. There we go. Overall, who's this for? I'm so sorry. This is for uh, Sammy, Ben. Duh. Sammy, Sammy, of course, yes. You're probably sister in law. Probably sister in law. How could I forget? How could you forget? Hilarious. All right, next up we have um, Opal Tano, probable sister of Ahsoka. Yes, Tano. indeed. Other person from my childhood. Other person from your childhood, Opal Tano. <laughs> At that time, you I know, spent the Jedi Temple. I know, right? There you go. Uh, Opal has four points this season, and this is only her second pack ever. Okay. So, uh, this is, let's see, they got four points on their first pack. We've got a Grass Energy, Snorrent, Knackle Stack, the oh, Plus Soul, that's gonna be two, two points. points. Yeah. Uh, Lure Countercatcher, Absol, Masquerain, the Durant, the Dewblade, and the Roaring Moon! We found At one! At long last, we got a Roaring Moon. It's just base Roaring Moon, but wow. It, it, it's, it's glad to see ya. It's symbolic nonetheless, and yes. also worth a lot. Goodness gracious. Wow, okay. is it? Yes, indeed. Seventeen dollars seventy-eight cents for Roaring Moon. Is it really for the base one? Number one twenty-four. Do I have that right? Yeah. Okay. Goodness. Yes. Whoa. Seventeen dollars seventy-eight cents. That's gonna be eighteen, nineteen points for Opal Tano. That is amazing. Do you see the Roaring Moon? This is the that's the least valuable one. There's like four more in there. That's unbelievable. But well crazy. done. We finally seen one. There it is. That is super exciting. Well, I'm excited to see another one. It's not impossible to get two in one box. It's not possible. Let's see. Oh, it. Look All at right. this. A good omen. A, a good, good omen indeed. Here we go. This is Sully. Sully. Coming in with three points off of uh, Opal Tano's Roaring Moon there. Best pack of the day so far. Sully, it, it has to be said, uh, rather integral to the overall Pixar theory. Yes. You know? So so thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedule, making kids laugh to be here with us today. All right, so we got the Knackley, the Nimble, the Yamask, the Spinda, the Crocolore, the Tulip, the Dondozo, the Swablu, the Horsey, and the, the Palkia. Palkia. Wow. From so. Roaring Moon to a single point Palkia pack. Yeah, there you we go. You hate to see it, but you there you go, it. Sully. At least it's uh, blue, like your card, so, you know, Team Water, but that probably isn't helping Team Water very much. Yeah. It's also blue like you. Huh. Like you, like Stella, like yeah, Stella like the monster. Like pink dots and stuff, you know? Man. All right, okay, here we go. Right. Karen. Karen. Has got one point. Karen is vying for the last place award. Can she pull a single point out of this pack? It seems we haven't had a single pack point. We no, haven't. We, did. we just did. Sorry, the Palkia was one pack so one. Was that right. a one pack back back? No, 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 no. It was just a one point pack. It was just a one point pack. It's a one point okay. pack. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, can we do it? All right, Grass, that would've okay. been bad last week. It's okay this week. We want no electro Pokemon, no chase Pokemon. None whatsoever, no. Play Go Go. The Absol, the Simi Sage, the Norm, and the Amber Palm. Oh, but it's a critical hit! No, it isn't! Oh, no, my no, 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 it isn't! No, it isn't! No, it isn't! No, it Karen! Oh, my God, it's a two point pack for Karen off the Fuego! 
Man, wow. I, this is Karen's new least favorite Pokemon wow, ever. Wow, starter. Could have been Goodness you. It could have been you. Although mm. we still, it, we're only on the second pack. So it's, it's true. Like, it's all right. So far, no one's done it. So really, there you're you still go. there with three points. Three points. It's the other best score you could have for last place. That's right. Uh, although here we go. We're back in it. It is Palo Azul. Palo Azul. Yes. Let's see. They have got one point as well. They've got a 15 cent pack. They're an ER nurse. Let's see if they can pull something here, or not pull something here, really. Right, let's see here, yeah. Metal Energy, great start. Great start, all right, let's see here. The Zubat, the, the Gimme Ghoul, Ghoul, the Purloin, the Mianfu, the Snorlax doll, we're doing good. The Tinkatone, the Durant, the Durant, Eveltal, will score, goodness gracious. Oh, what's, nope. the, no? The Eveltal does score, It oh, does, no. yeah, because it's rare. It's the the oh, the Zekrom was gonna oh. do you anyway, so it's yeah. a three point pack for Palo Azul here. Wow, it's gonna be to four on the season, unfortunately. So another whiff on last place. People cannot do it. Cannot do it's it. A, people like last place is one of the hardest awards to win on this show. Like the the amount of luck required to get the bad pull that many times. Such skill. Such it's, skill. It's true. Cool. Next up we have Aaron and Tony, who are rookies this season, but this is their second pack ever. So they've got eight points. It's another uh, power couple team. Okay. Let's see, they both collected as kids, didn't know how to play. This is the first time collecting cards in 20 years! Whoa! Wow, love All that. Right. Love that. Well, welcome to the game. Welcome Thank you for game. joining, being a part of our show here. Eight points, pretty solid. Pretty solid, pretty solid. All right, we got, we got the Eyeball Energy, the Tinka Tink, the Tandem Mouse, the Dwebble, the Whimsor, the Chantal, the Garboder, Technical Machine Evolution, the Gimme Ghoul will not score. Oh, oh look at that plus all! Oh, that's hey, amazing. Ben, look, that's oh, the chase card, It too. is the chase card. So that yep, will so, count. Yeah, so that'll get actually a couple of points just You're right. For who Just it is. For being chase card. Let's wow, see. that is a great looking card. It is. Number 193. So, yeah, whatever it is has two points on top. Okay, okay, all right, let's see. So 193, $4.97, so five, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight point pack. Wow, back to back eight point packs puts them at 16 points, which is, again, great for a uh, big Steve contention if they could manage to pull out like a four point pack next time around. Look at that, look at little plus, that's so great. We I do to, I do love that, that's a fun card. We gotta get a mine in to go with you on the next one, that'd be great. All right, next up we have Mots. Mots! Who, if I recall, was leading the game at one point. So this is actually an opportunity for a first place leaderboard change. It could be, yes. Right. So Mots, Mots has 31. Mots has 31. Okay. Let me just take a peek here. So it was currently in one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, fifth place overall. Fifth place, okay. So uh, Ariel Stormborn has 48. So Mots would have to like really throw 48 down. 48 points? 48 points. Oh wow, okay. For Ariel Stormborn, yep. Okay, wow, all right, let's see what um, Mots can throw down here. I forgot, I think I just knew that Ariel got 40 last time and forgot that she added yes, to her total. Yes, on top of that, yeah. Man, yep. okay, so Mots, uh, you know what, he needs like a almost 20 point pack here. To it, would, it, would be, it would be impressive to take back over the leader. It would. Right? I mean, going from 30 to 20, because even if you just got a 20 point pack, the there we go. Okay. Mots is here to play. Let's see it. Mo oh, okay, Mots is here to play. What a good omen. Black what a good omen. Oh, oh, the Ella kid. Okay, Mots. here we go. Here we go. Let's see it, buddy. The Knackle Stack. The Porygon oh, 2 oh, and the Palkia. Oh, oh, it was an exciting pack. That's going to be one, two, three times two, six. Let's just see really quick here. What does that do for? So that puts Mod like thirty-seven at points. Thirty-seven, which does take over uh, rival Mod uh, Doe with okay. thirty-five. Okay, so he's in second place with thirty-seven. Thir third place. Oh, third, third place. place. Yeah, Who's yeah, in second? Kyle oh, Kyle. Has, that's yeah. right. Oh, Kyle. You can't forget about Kyle. <laughs> Poor Kyle. Poor Kyle. Oh boy. There we go. Well, good job, Mots. Uh, six points. Pretty solid. Taking a little type advantage action there. Oh, Ben, it's Goddess Princess. Oh. The always exciting Goddess Princess. Goddess Princess last season Took had... Just on a journey. Just on a journey. Probably I mean, just on a journey. Maybe it was two seasons ago. I can't remember when Goddess Princess. And oh, so, you're right. Yeah, I, maybe it was last no, it season. it was because of the 22 points. Yeah, yeah I think I, that's so I right. think Goddess Princess at one point in time is in first, yes. and then second, and then eighth. And then she was simultaneously winning Big Steve yes. and eighth, and then, and then, then being lost it all. all of it. So like so, literally held so, so many points. Like, oh, Goddess Princess, Goddess Princess, is Princess like, delivers! Like, don't, don't mess with me. Don't mess with don't me. Don't okay. mess! We got the Pharisee, the Geibel, the Panpour, the Blitzel, the, the, the Arson Vetzel. The, yep, there we go. Let's see. The Steeny, the Purloin will not score. The Octillery will not score. And, and the, the Chi Yu. So, right, so one, two, three, four times two is eight. Eight. 
There we go. All right, well, 13 points for Goddess Princess. Not too bad. As ever playing for Big Steve, you know? Right there, just gotta get to that 20 point mark, so it needs a seven point pack next go round. Not impossible. Well done, Goddess Princess. Way, way go. to come to play. Way to, way to just be an entertainer, you know? A, sh a true showman. A true show. Oh my gosh, did I have I completely looked over the fact that this is yet another this Lauren? This is another Lauren. Okay, then. so we currently, in play, have four <coughs> people with the name of Lauren. Yeah, we have another Lauren, Master Lauren, Regular Lauren, and Lauren B. Lauren B from The Bachelor. From wow. The Bachelor, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Here we go. All right, well, another Lauren. Let's see. Now, another Lauren has two points, so two came points. in in last place of the Laurens, I want to say. I believe so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what? See what it has the opportunity to topple. Loves dark types, it says on here. We got the fire energy. Oh, it's not Hornet a would have been good last time. Horse the, the Joltik will score. The Orthrum, the Toad Scroll, the Screamtail, the Dublay, the Steelix will score, and the Aegislash will so, score. So, so three. Three brings you to five in the Battle of the Lorens. I'm not sure how that I places think, I you. I think that's second in the Battle of the Lorens. Nah, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll, keep not, a, nothing. we'll keep a watchful eye on all the Lorens there. That we shout. Next up, we've got Skill. Skill! Rival of Kernak McClagan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why would that be the rival? I get it. I mean, but also because Slytherin Keeper. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Slytherin yeah. Keeper. Yeah, wow, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this works on so many levels. It does. Um, it's a multifaceted joke, which is the best kind of joke. Oh, but you know what? Skill. Let's see if Skill can live up to their name because they're competing for last place right now. They have got a one point pack as well. 16 cents, but it really doesn't matter yet because one Same. point at all will be great. The Magby. Okay. The Flamiga. Yes. The Durant Durant. Yes. The Slitherwing. Mm -hmm. The Ferrothorn. The Wimpod will not be? score. The Charcadet will not score. Oh! Oh, full art Mela though. Dang. Very cool card. Super cool. Um, but unfortunately not gonna do I thought we had it. I thought I know. we had it. No, four dollars seventy-eight cents. That's five points. That's a five Jay. point That's card five for that points Mella, man. For skill. Well done. <sighs> well, last place still wide open. Wide there you go. Open. Anyway, you get the Mela. Very cool card. Very cool card. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And in, in, in this case, I would say better to take the card. Yeah. Better to take there the card, go. but you know. Oh, there we go. Next up, we have Cartavian. Cartavian. Longtime player in the game. Where did I write down your score? Here it is. All right, you've got two points coming two points. into the day. A lot of two-pointers out there. Let's get some more one-point excitement going. Let's see. What has Cartavian got for us today? We've got the water energy. Tinkatuff, Trubbish, the Crustle, the Onyx, Minchow, Rika, nothing happening, Toad Scroll, Flittle, and wow. Wow. Just like that, one pack later was the one point pack. Who knew? Who knew indeed, in amazing way. So yeah, so come, someone coming into the day with two points. So once again, we've got, we have people so, died, so many, so many people uh, yeah, tying up at that three point spot. This which is, is it, I mean, it could either become the most competitive at, like like position to be in ever, is, yeah. is who can end the season with four points. I know, that could be where we're heading. We'll right. just have to see. We'll have to see. Next up we have Tempest Blade. Tempest Blade, Welcome okay. of Lion Pokemon. All right, Temp. Dark type, yeah, naturally. Go. I got the Boon Sweet, the Phoebus, the Apom, the Pan Sage. There we go. The Glasgow, the Absol, the Simi Sage. Oh, the oh, Absol. Absol. There we go. Critical, critical hit. hit. Oh, oh Rika. Oh, no, Illustrator Rika. Oh, this could be a big one. That could be a big one. Okay, let's All check that right. out. And we have the multiplier, yeah. which makes it interesting. So the Aegis Slash will probably just be the single point there. So number 258. All right, here we go. Now, Rika is not a card I've seen played at all. So it's Ooh. just, it's being, it's riding that like Illustrator Rare vibes. No, this is pretty cool. Is so, it? Yeah. Well, so $18.16, we're out to 19 times 19. two. So oh, no. plus one is 20 times two is a 40 point 40 pack. 40 point pack. Whoa, 40 point pack. That's gonna put them at 44 total. Let's see. That's in so. second place because Ariel, I believe, is at 48. You're correct. Oh my gosh, wow. we got a race going on it here at the top on of the leaderboard. You guys, as wow, ever. Look wow. at that critical hit. And with the dark energy there, what a fun one. I know, that was that was super cool. Are you out of sleeves? I'm out of sleeves. Oh boy, what a good a problem few. to have. I yeah, know. There we go. Means we're giving out lots of big cards for that Rika. Wow, who'd have thought? Man. Look at the top four cards of your deck, but two of them I, in your hand. I so wasn't expecting it. Like, I, I, I think know. I like, turned the card and I was like, what, what is that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I've not even seen this card. So if I can get it in the sleeve here. Bam. Love to see it. Well done, Rika, for second place. So now Ariel Stormborn cannot just sit comfortably on top because, um, 
Tempest Blade is only four points back. Just just so Very, close. Total striking There is. So now it's Rika versus Goldango. Yeah. Lead, right? oh, yep, 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 yep. Crazy. Oh, here we go. Carly, a, a single point player. Again, another... Oh man, now Carly in the past though has been the beneficiary of an eight times multiplier back in season six. So let's see, is it me, you? I don't even know. Here we go, I'm just going for it. Do it, do it, yeah. All right, for it. Carly, can we get now? So it means Carly has had luck on her side. Does that mean she can pull a single point pack? That's the luck she's looking for today. Yes. All right, let's see it, let's see it. Whoop, metal energy, good start, good start. We want no electric types, the pumpkin boo, the zoo bad. Splat. Oh, no, okay, no. That's the Mila no. again. The Aegis, Aegis Slash, Slash does score, score though. though. Oh, no. And the Explod is actually a critical hit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and oh! the Iron Hands. Oh, it turned into a really good pack all of a sudden. What's happening? What the heck? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we know the Iron Hands is a highly sought-after Pokemon in this set. Is it... How is the full art going to treat them? Pretty solid. Yeah? 1488 on so, that one. So, so it's a 15 point? 15. 15 plus it's actually electric, so it's gonna be 16. And then 17, 17 times two is a 34 point pack! What the heck? What is going on? We've had two crazy packs here! That's gonna put them at 35 points total, so still pretty high, not quite in the 40s with the other leaders, but, but boy, either way, you get the Iron Hands, which is like the the card from the set other than the Roaring Moon. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Man, this has been like one episode. What a, it's what so a much season. is going on. There was a lot happening. Usually that battle for first is not so close. Someone just like breaks free. Right. Next up, sitting atop the Iron Throne is Br no, that's wrong. Never mind. No. Here we go. Okay. Next up is Brawn. Brawn. Okay. Okay, Brawn. Brawn sitting with two points right now, but who knows where this could go based on this box? Let's I mean, see. all Let's the see. crazy things are happening. Right. Rock is pummeling. Got the rock is pummeling. Got the pork on the board. Yep. The toad school, the vanillite, the uh, cursed duster, the ore beetle, the cloth, the porygon. Oh, critical hit! Criti oh my gosh! Bam, another again. one! The Wimpod will not score on the team. Tingle. Oh, so, just, just a two point. So, yeah, so mm. for Braun, just four points overall. Wow, back to back critical hit packs, but this one not quite as exciting, unfortunately. Unfortunately, man! man on the Ting Lu there. All right, well, there you go. Crazy how the cards fall. Next up, we got Big. Big Jake. Big Jake. Sitting with five points. I always think this is our friend Jake the Viking whenever I do this. Have you I, asked him? I don't think, I think I did ask him. Okay, He okay. came to visit us. So okay. He does collect Pokemon cards, but I know, that's that, not that, him. Yeah, it would feel, it would be, he's a fan of SCB and collects Pokemon cards. Yeah, and he even says, he's a photographer and does AV work for his church. And I know that uh, Jake was just like on tour with some sort of like heavy metal band. So he was like doing like photography stuff with them. So I was like, <laughs> you, maybe, maybe Big Jake and Jake the Viking need to just like just, hang just, out. Just, just me. Sounds yeah. like you'd get along. Right. <laughs> All right, let's see. We've got, oh, oh, there we go. Multiplier. Okay. Here we go. We're back in the game, y'all. Back in the game. You best. Apom, the Galvantula will score. The Mantike will score. <clears throat> Machine, oh man, I thought for a second we had uh, a critical hit there. The Ancient Booster Capsule is pretty cool, and, and the Grudon, man. So it's gonna be a six, six point, point pack. pack. There we go for Not, 11 points. Yeah, 11 <laughs> points on the season. Not a terrible place to be in as ever, you know, as you're kind of aiming for that big sieve potential. It's always possible. There we go. All right, next up we have got Aureus Khan. Aureus Khan, okay. Very, it sounds uh, like somebody from like a history. <coughs> no, it sounds like a very epic name. It does. It's like, right. Then there was Aureus Khan. Aureus Khan, yeah. Can they pull an epic pack though? They've only got three points this season. And they were, this is only their second pack ever. They're a rookie this season. All right, we got the Mantic well, score, the again. Gabite, the Minor score, the, the Dew Blade, the Norman, the Screamtail, the Technical Machine Devolution, the Snoo Run will not score, the Lipard will not score. Oh, but the oh, Skill Surge Skill and Dirge. There it is. Skill and Dirge. Skill and Dirge. Let's see. 137 Oops. on the set is going to land us. $1.12. So just oh. two points. So two points. So four points total on the pack there for seven total on the season with the Skill and Dirge. There you go. Pretty well cool. Done. Pretty well cool. Done. Get a sleeve card. Yeah. Yeah. yeah why not? All right, next up we've got Schmubbles. Schmubbles. Schmubbles, who actually is off to a really good start. They have 24 points in their first pack. Yes, yes indeed. Okay, and this is uh, Schmubbles of Water Polo Coaching fame. Oh, yes, 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 yep. yes. Well done, Schmubbles. And that big win last weekend, probably. I know, right? I mean, the only water polo team I even know of is like the U.S. Olympic team, so this is that's probably the one. Choose you, coaching. You know, of the, you know of the U.S. Olympic team, but not like 
the the Canadian Olympic team. Well, sure. So I mean, or, or else you're right. I'm yeah. I'm projecting my Americanness onto Smubbles. I don't know. I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry. Maybe sorry. you're not American. No, it would just be hilarious if you were like, yes, there is. I know of one team. I know of one. They don't compete against anyone. But right. They exist. They exist. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. Flittle, Nicket, Knackley, Nimble, Tatsugiri, the Lone Dragon type. Dondozo, the Flamigo, the Tandem Mouse, and the, the Ting Lu. Just a single, so there are single point packs. There That's are, the yep, thing. yep. So Smubbles, just just Man. rocketing from 24 up to 25. 25. <laughs> yeah, not can't capitalize on their big point total there. They have to rely on that third pack. All right, there we go. I see a Roaring Moon. We see a see. Roaring Moon. All right. This is Haley and Colin. Haley and Colin. Good old power couple. Okay, I, I really do. I can't stress it enough. I love the number of couples that compete. I know. Like, it's I love it. It's like, oh, fun. new episode. Yeah. Should we watch? Should we, should we watch? Should we, yeah. should we pull out some popcorn? See what we see if we're see if our packs in this one. Uh, no. All right, so we got the Charcadet, the Swablu, the Panseer, the Wiglet, the Orthworm, the Absol, the Simi Seer, the Professor Sato's Vitality will not score. The Toad School will not score. And oh, the, uh, the last one for a one point pack. Come on, Alien Colin. Oh man. Unfortunate. Not what you want to see. It is amazing that we're getting one point pack. I know, but, but it's, no one it was doubled up. All right, we have Wilhelmina next. Another person, they have 14 points on the first pack. So room to capitalize should they get something big here. Right, yes, there is potential on the table. There is. Let's but there another. always is, there always is. There always is, you know, you never know what's gonna be in these packs. I feel like, have we pulled what feels like the best card in this pack yet? We've I had like two so. two cards in like the like 18, 19 right? Yeah, but we had so. like a, that was, they were like, they were worth a lot, but as far as the printing is concerned, it was like a base rare and like a full art. No, True. we had the Illustrator, Illustrator Rika. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. There is that. So well, who knows? Who knows? The Nachu, the Purloin, the Mind Food, the Pharisee, the Slitherwing, Tatsugiri, Gwebble, oh, the Galvangelo scores, and the Chi Yu. So just a two point pack, just I am afraid, for Wilhelmina. Moving from 16, though. 16 is good for Big Steve. Big so Steve, yeah. Just four right points there. next time. You'll be right in it for right that in win. It, no problem at all. There we go. Just, you just can do this. Plan for that next month. Just, just Focus. summon the will, the energy. Think about the number four for the next 30 days. Yes, and you're precisely. You're be there. And you'll you have fine. to manifest it. Oh, hell no. It's EK Sco. Nailed it. Here Look we at go. you go. Look at you go. Oh man, for whatever, I will tell you, I go, I try and sound as confident every time I say it as possible, and sometimes it pays off and other times it doesn't. It's just a roll of the dice every time. Okay, right, we got the mill take, the wind pop, the plus the there two we go. Points. The tandem mouse, yeah, that's right. They got the explow, the mella, the slither wing, the vanilla-ish, nope. not the vanilla ux that we're looking for. The man will, will score, score though, and, and the melodic. So, so one, two, three, here. four. Uh, and who's this for? EK Sko. EK Sko! Bringing them up to six points on the CL zone. There we go. Throw that in there. Send you your Meloda card. Next up, we're with Veiva. Veiva! Who is coming off a two point pack, so not quite a single pointer, but maybe they want a single point in case it gets down to like a four point game. We'll see. We'll see, Veiva. Cross stitches for fun. Fun fact. Like you're trying to sew your sunblock together. <laughs> What do you mean? That's the general idea. Uh, Boy, name that reference, you guys. Here we go. Tula, Belusa, Sean. So many supporters in this one. Chantel, Mello, Wiglet, and the Serena. There, there we, we go. go. Okay, number 46 on the set. Just mm. past the first page. I Let's know. see. Is Dollar it? two. So good oh, round. Two in. points. So two points there. Yeah, you did get solid advantage. So two point pack back to back. I'm gonna bring you to a four on the season for Veva. So they're gonna need quite the final pack to go. But uh, you never know, it's always possible. It's always possible. Always possible. Always possible. Let's see. All right, next up we have Kitten Ninja. Not Kitten Ninja. Not Kitten not kitten Pirate. Better, the better. Wow. It's Kitten Ninja. I did watch, I, I did start watching the uh, the TV show Our Flag Means Death over the weekend. What's that called? Our Flag Means Death. Is that a pirate show? It's a pirate show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Directed by Taika Waititi. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. So far, so far so good. It's like it's like Ted Lasso, but pirates. Oh, yeah. man, I'm in. Yeah, Okay. Yeah. All right, so we got the Gligar, the Blipbug, the Fue Coco, the Snow Runt, the Crobat, the Roarark, the Steny, the uh, Zekrom will score, score twice. twice. Uh, the Garboder will not score, oh, and the, the Glassipod, which I think we know to be one point, but we'll double check it. We'll double and Zekrom's check it. two. Let's see, number 50 on the set, yep, 66 cents. So just. Bam. So, so three points three total. Three points, yep, that's right. For, for Kitten Ninja, Kitten Pirate, as I like to call him. Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, uh, okay, here we go. Andriana, eight cent, one point player. 
can eight cent one point player can Andriana be the first person this season to get just back to back single point packs? Come on, Andriana. We you we can just, do this. We can do it. We can do it. I think last season they they rounded off with a whopping four. You know what? This it, interestingly. Andrea, Andriana's last three packs have all been single points. So, so, weirdly, if they just managed to be inside the same season, she could have done it. We're about to find out. I know, but now for her to win last play, she basically has to have pulled five one-pointers in a row, which would have been... No, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm looking at season six, not season seven. Okay, okay, you're yeah. right. There was a, Yeah, there season was, seven was a 16-pointer. So my bad. So there's a break. Break in the action. Oh, my God. But even look at season five. Wow. In contention. So on... Okay, so out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So out of eight total... Packs. They have pulled one point cards five, five times. times. Man, that's dude. Wild. The, the, I mean, Adriana, but has not managed to land in last yet. So the time is coming. Let's see. Can this be the pack? Magby, Flamingo. Oh no. <laughs> The stupid dancing bird is gonna kill you. Come on. I am bundle Ferrothorn cursed us through the nib. Oh, oh Magby. Okay. Oh, actually, okay. it's gonna be. Look, it's gonna be a critical hit. Oh, I'm gonna put it on the Porygon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and it's the worst. It's the worst. It's the part. lowest value card. True Andriana style. Wow. Okay, Man. so we have a double multiplier in here. We have, is it an illustrator? 186? Yes, Let's look at see. this beautiful card, the Magby. So we do have a critical hit here. That does count. Because um, it has the same same um, attack and everything. So the Magby yeah. is worth 6.52, $6.52. So, so seven, seven, eight, nine times two is 18, 18. points. Well there we go, 18 done. points. That's the best pack and Andriana has ever pulled, bringing them to 19 and dude, if they Andriana can... is the one point specialist. It's if she anyone, can... if anyone can do it. The if you big can count Steve. on anyone Oh my for God, big I'm Steve, writing down. The one point specialist. Once, one, four, big. Steve. All right, we've written it down. Yeah. Let's see. Get an adorable little card. Oh my God, I'm so rooting for Andreon to get the Big Steve award now. Uh, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Lots of lots of payout for waiting so long. Here we go. All right, now speaking of one point specialists, now we have Akron guy. All right, who has pulled three one point packs historically? Okay, including one this season. So including one this season. Can they land? At one point, who thought we would ever be? I know, so I'm like invested. so invested in it. I'm like, like, who just, can do it? Someone statistically has to do it. Honed Edge, the horsey, nope. the jolting. <laughs> oh, there's another one. I know there is coming. the Natsu, the Simi Poor, the Zipstrika, uh, the Luxurious uh, Kate, no the Cedro won't do it, the Zubat won't do it, and then the Zot too. So three points so to one. knock Akron guy out of it as well. Oh man. man, three points for Akron guy. God, I'm so excited for Adriana though. What a great one. What a great one. That's a story. This is a story you just want to invest in. I know. No. All right, and here we go, Ben. It's Margo. Margo. A, a, a former leader of the pack, at least for a little while. It looks like at some point they had they pulled a 77-point pack, and before that, their first two packs ever were 37 and then 77. Wow. Way to go, that Margo. That is okay. crazy. Okay. Here so we go. Up. All right, let's see it. Final let's pack of the day for Margo. Then we've got two points this season. No okay. goodness me. They've been known to pull some, some bangers. Here we go. What do we have for the last pack of the day? Bam. Rock is pummeling, so no okay. multiplier okay. yet. The mine, the mine yep. and score, snore, and knackle stack, iron bundle, techno raider, counter Old catcher, the vessel yep. is nice. Yeah. Spathra and the Kingdra, so oh. nothing too crazy. Just a four point pack. Oh no, actually five point. The oh, you're right. Score. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, five, five points. Five point packs for seven Margo. on the season for Margo. There we go. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. Man, all right. What an exciting box. So many things happened. So many big pulls and multipliers and rare cards. Man, that was a good one. This season is heating up. I know, I know. I, I mean, and again, still, I mean, I know we were harping on it like wild, but like that last play. So, I mean, it's like, I just, I mean, we see we see one point packs and the fact that the nobody's time. been able to do it twice so far. I know we only have um, one more one more week 
yes. of pack two for someone to get to the single digit, but I don't even know how many more people are even up for it. I know, I know, yeah. So yeah. it's, I mean, we're, we have to be getting limited on those on those available options, at which point in time, I mean, we're, we just have to have a very real conversation about three or four points being the, the last place. It would be down to four at that point. Well, if you can, you can do it with two, technically, technically, but if you end up having- Oh, I guess pack, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, as ever, if you would be interested in having us open a pack for you in a future episode of Box Breakers, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of the Box Breakers tier. Link to that in the description down below. Otherwise, guys, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!